all of this without you doing anything. So we're going to try this command. Should be pretty straightforward, creating a docx here. And remember, this is not something that needs to happen on your system. This is something that would typically happen in an attacker system. This video is brought to you by CrowdSec, a free open source intrusion detection system. When have you heard that? Check out their GitHub using the link in the description. Hello and welcome to the PC Security Channel. Today we'll be talking about this deadly vulnerability in Microsoft's Support Diagnostic Tool, or MSDT. There are several ways attackers might exploit it and are exploiting it right now to deliver any kind of malware payload to your system. This is an RCE or remote code execution vulnerability, which means it can allow an attacker on a different system to execute code on your system without you knowing. So for those of you who wonder how attackers can influence your system without you actually making the mistake or doing something for them, this is a way that might happen. So first of all, remediation, what can you do? You can disable the MSDT URL protocol, which is mentioned here, and that is going to prevent attackers from abusing this vulnerability. So if you haven't done this now, and especially if you're in a business environment, you should definitely do that, apply this patch. But we're going to show you how this works step-by-step step so you understand the entire exploit process, because this is not the first or last time that this is going to happen. Exploits pop up all the time. Sometimes they're patched as an OS update. Sometimes you have to patch them yourself. Some remain unpatched for a long period of time and any of them can be used to deploy malicious payloads. And this is how a lot of businesses get infected. This is how the big cyber criminals make their money. In order to emulate an attacker side, we do have a Python build here provided by Kevin Beaumont. There are already a lot of publicly available repositories that will allow you to use this exploit. I'm gonna just show you the readme so you understand how this works. So all we have to do is execute the Felina.py script. This is going to prepare the exploit for us, which is going to be a Word document because this is what attackers will typically use. It can be used as an email attachment. And what's gonna happen is when you click on the document, open it in Word, it is going to launch the malicious application. If the malicious application is some kind of RAT or remote access tool, it can give the attacker full access to your system as well. John Hammond has done an amazing video showing that. We're just gonna try a simple example here that's going to launch something like Calculator on the host system. Keep in mind, this is just an example. So we are going to launch Calculator, but it can launch anything. It can download malware binary. I showed you how that can happen in the last video. If you're watching in the Windows Defender exploit, they can use something like a bit's job to download a malware directly from their URL, place it somewhere, and then they can use this to execute it. All of this without you doing anything. So we're going to try this command should be pretty straightforward, creating a docx here. And remember, this is not something that needs to happen on your system. This is something that would typically happen in an attacker system. I've done this with Kali Linux, but for this demonstration, I'm just doing everything in one system because it's easier also, because then I can just host it in local host instead of using another IP address and then visiting that. So as you can see now, it says that the payload is being served on this web address. We can actually just copy this, visit the web page, and you will see this pop-up which says the site is trying to open Diagnostic Troubleshooting Wizard. And if you open this, this is what is going to launch the payload, but you don't necessarily have to visit it. Because of this vulnerability, you just have to open a Word document and all of this is going to happen in the background. So we're gonna cancel this for now and I'm going to grab the document that's been created. So we have this click me. And all we have to do is open this. This could be an email attachment. As you can see, it launches the program compatibility troubleshooter and along with it, the calculator. But of course, you can put any malicious payload and it's going to launch along with that. It can also do all sorts of other things. So we could, for example, also use it to run a web server allowing the attacker to connect and control. We can also start a new process that's hidden. We can also write to a file. Here's an example of that. We can actually try this one out. You guys might find it interesting. I'm gonna paste this command. And now once we run the exploit again, it should create the new file that we wanted in public user. As you can see, it's created the new file in the public folder. 
click on it, it says owned. So these are just a couple of examples of what is possible with this exploit. Of course, an attacker can use it intelligently to do a lot more because they will be coupling this payload with other malicious exploits or other malware programs that have more sophisticated capabilities. This can be used to deliver things like ransomware very easily. So if you do not have this patched, please go ahead and patch it. This is a really hot vulnerability being actively exploited by attackers as we speak, and it works on Windows 10, 11, everything. Because the key thing that's happening here is if we go to this link, this is what is serving the exploit. The way the URL handler is built is by going to this page, Microsoft is automatically going to open the diagnostic tool. And that is what the attacker is exploiting using this URL handler function. So if you disable the URL handler, this is just not going to happen. And how often have you needed the URL handler? So it is a possible fix, even though it's not likely a proper OS patch. Maybe we'll have one of those, but who knows? So I hope you found this video helpful. I hope this gives you a better understanding of how exploits work and how threats like ransomware can be delivered. Please like and share this video if you enjoyed it. Now to our sponsors. This video is brought to you by CrowdSec, a free open source intrusion prevention system. The project is on GitHub, so you can check it out today and install it on your favorite Linux box. I've already set it up on Ubuntu and it's super simple and easy to use. CrowdSec allows you to ingest alerts from various sources, parse through the logs and build your own intrusion detection system. You can set up custom rules, leverage the community blacklist and automate your entire security process. So if you're an individual or company looking to monitor alerts from various different sources, this is a great tool to do it. You can also deploy an agent on Windows, which is currently in alpha. Once you have it set up, you're gonna look at the CrowdSec console. This is gonna show you a bird's eye view of all your agent scenarios and alerts. You've also got access to cyber threat intelligence. So this is where you can look up any kind of IP that you like. So just gonna paste a malicious IP here. And if we do a search, it's gonna give us the confidence level and the various actions associated with it. So as you can see, this one is flagged as a bad actor. The attack details show it's an HTTP scanner and crawler. You can see the reporting period and you can also make a comment. So it's very much community driven. And while some parts of the project are still in development, still in beta, this is a great time to jump in and start playing around with the tools, getting involved with the project. So check them out, link in the description, show them some love for supporting the PC Security channel. This is Leo, thank you so much for watching, and as always, stay informed, stay secure.